Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make Adobe After Effects render faster. Now, the rendering is basically a function of how much stuff After Effects is trying to compress or calculate versus your computer hardware's capabilities. So the first place to start would be hardware. Um, this, this corresponds to both the preview editing and also the, the rendering of the final video. Uh, with the hardware, RAM, hard drive, and CPU are going to be your big three, uh, but the video card is also very important. Uh, with the video card, the most important thing to remember is update your video drivers. It's going to keep, them, keep your video card running as fast as possible with the latest versions of the rendering programs within it. Now, the uh, hard drive, I've got a kind of a cheaper hard drive in my computer right now because I spent more money on the CPU. For the fastest rendering, you really want a solid state drive. It can feed your processor much faster than a regular drive, and you'll find that your hard drive becomes a bottleneck very quickly. I currently have an 8-core processor on my computer, so that combined with 16 gigabytes of RAM really isn't going to be too much of a problem with most projects. A good rule of thumb, your RAM should be twice as much as, your, as the number of cores in your processor. So uh, 4 comes out to be you know 8 gigs of RAM or something like that. So 4-core processor, 8 gigs of RAM. 8-core processor, 16 gigs of RAM. Something around there. Um, let's take a look at some settings inside of After Effects. Some of the settings that will affect your preview, so while you're trying to watch the project play out, see if the timing's correct, um, are going to be found inside of Edit, Preferences, and I'm going to come over here to Previews. So um, the Adaptive Resolution Limit will tell After Effects how low you're willing to let it go. Um, so when you set the, the resolution, I can demonstrate that real quick. From It's set to full right now. You can bring it down to half, third, quarter. If we do that, you can see the detail in the composition is lost, but you can still get some of the, the feeling for the pacing of it and the flow. So that tells After Effects how low you're willing to let it go as it tries to adapt the resolution to make up for speed. So that's one place to start to try to make it render a little bit quicker just to see what you're doing. You want to enable OpenGL if your card supports it. And if you go into the OpenGL info, it will tell you how much memory you can allocate to textures. You can play around this number, see kind of what works for you. And we want to accelerate the effects using OpenGL when possible. This will make a significant impact to your graphics rendering abilities. You'll notice it more, I think, on the previews than you will on the final product, but it will definitely make an impact on your ability to render quickly. You can also set the, uh, the zoom faster rather than more accurate to speed up some of, the, uh, some of the zoom effects. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to speed up the render time in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.